Well, that's not all the tricks we can play with um, the star and double star arguments when we're calling functions. Um, so just as you can have a star and a double star in the def line, and so have parameters which can take arbitrary numbers of arguments, you can also do it the other way around. You can use it as a shortcut for using the elements of a tuple um, as parameters for um, as positional parameters, um, or alternatively for using um, the um, elements of a dictionary to fill in our, our keywords when you're calling a function too. So let's take a an example of how one might do this. So suppose we have to find a function for a straight line where y equals mx plus c. Um, then um, we'd normally write a function for this as f of x, m, and c. Um, and actually, this you're going to find that when we're doing the um, uh, numerical programming um, is actually really important. This is basically how you should arrange to write your functions. You always write it in the terms of the um, uh, independent variable and then the other parameters, so x, m, and c. Um, so we might then define um, such a function, um, something like this, so def linear x, m, c, return m times x plus c. Okay, so that's just a straight line. Um, so in the SciPy tutorial units, as I said, this will be, um, we'll see that we can fit a straight line um, uh, that's written like this to some arbitrary data. Um, and then you can um, get it to go and return the best fit. And what it returns to you, it would be an array which includes two elements. Um, this is um, often called the optimal parameters or p-opt. Um, uh, and you can use it then to go and calculate the, the best fit straight line um, by doing something like this. So here I have a function. Um, I've um, in, in reality, in real code, uh, the p-opt equals 1, 2 uh, would have actually come out of calling a curve-fitting routine. So it would have returned um, an array of two elements that are the optimal fitting parameters. Um, and then we have some value of x, and so we can just do a call to our linear function as x, and then this star p-opt um, notation. And that's equivalent to doing x p opt 0, p opt 1, as you see on the line below. Um, and so you can show that those give the, the same answer um, uh, from both ways round. So that's kind of nice because it means then you don't really care about how many parameters the function you're, you're working with takes, so long as your fitting routine has produced enough values to stuff into all of those parameters. So that's a nice little bit of simpler syntax to work with. Um, and so the, the argument that you prefix with an asterisk is anything which you can convert into a tuple. Um, so it can be a, um, a, an array, um, it can be a list, or it can be any other thing that's a sequence. And then, as I said, there's a similar trick you can do with keyword arguments, um, where you can pass a, a thing, a dictionary, as a, with a star star. So um, uh, for example, if we're going back to our word count function, we could do um, something like this, where we create a keyword arguments dictionary and give it the vowels and the values, um, so FCP in this case. Um, and then when I call my um, vowels count function, you see I've passed it star star keyword args. Um, and then that is being passed and it's being matched up um, to any of the, the keywords uh, are there. I don't have to have a star star um, keywords in the def line. I can just have any regular set of keywords. But if then if you do that and then any of the um, entries in the dictionary you're passing when you call the function don't match keyword parameters in your definition of your function, then you're going to get an error. Um, but apart from that, it then it then also as say works equivalently well for passing lots of arguments conveniently. So in summary, in this unit, we've covered creating functions that can take an arbitrary number of positional arguments into them. So that's when you define the function with a star args. So it's a parameter which will take an arbitrary set of keyword arguments. Um, you can also do something similar with dictionaries. So you can create arbitrary keyword arguments. So that's when you've got a, a star star keywords. And there's also the case of calling a function 
using a tuple or a list or an array to fill in the positional arguments. So that's when you call it with a star um, arguments or whatever um, the, the list is called. And also calling a function using a dictionary to match the keyword parameters. So there you call it with a star star keyword um, and it matches all the keyword parameters.